It's Christmas time all over again. A huge, nice, fresh blanket of snow across my driveway and across the, the lawn and everything on my street. So I gotta brush it off before I go. It's like almost completely shrouded. Anyways, so yeah, like I said, uh, fashion show rehearsal today, excited for that. But first, I gotta clean my car. On the way here while I was driving, I was thinking, although it's like there's a lot of snow now, well, it's not a lot, but you know, there's snow and we actually haven't had uh, a snowfall for a while. It's actually not as cold as it was yesterday in the past few days and how it was like two weeks ago. So, you know, I'll take that. I'll take the snow or the blistering cold because I don't feel like I'm going to get frostbite every time I expose my skin for just a few moments. So, snow is more bearable than the frigid and dying cold. So. It's so barren on canvas today. It's like a horror movie could take place here, a post-apocalyptic movie. It's absolutely no one. Well, there's like people over there walking into the bus there. But aside from that, it's like an apocalypse has just taken place. And I'm out of breath because I just ran like 50 meters and you know I'm out of shape, so I lose my breath quickly. All done with the fashion show rehearsal, and I'm on my way home. I'm so glad it's not cold. Hey look, it's actually sunny outside. It's a Christmas miracle. Yeah, I stayed an extra bit afterwards, even though I didn't need to, because I was just so lazy to walk to my car and go home. And doing that would mean I would have to study, and eating chips and watching people model is so much more enjoyable than studying, right? Like, who would? disagree on that statement oh my god these driving conditions are dangerous i cannot see anything the sun is blinding me and on top of that i am vlogging so i am doing something terribly dangerous and my mother is going to snap at me if she watches this but the sun is so beautiful yet so blinding hey you to the movies. First, uh, I gotta pick up my friend, Elisa. 
I haven't seen her for a long time. The last time I think I saw her was in September at uh, my birthday, so it's been a while. She goes to Laurier, so I really see her now. But we went to high school together, and she's one of my oldest friends, I, I think. I'll have to confirm with her. I knew her since, uh, like, JK, I think. That's a long-ass time that she's been uh, putting up with me, right? So, she's a good girl for doing that. You're so nice. So here we are at the movies. I'm with my best friend, Lisa. Hey, Lisa. Hey. You're so short. What? <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh my god, look at my height compared to yours. You're such a cute short person. I love I'm it. Trying. Huh? I've given up on trying to be tall. So I was, ta I was saying earlier how I think you're one of my oldest friends. Really? Yeah. When? Like, I've known you since, like, JK. Like, JK. such a long time. <laughs> we have, right? Uh-huh. We did. You went. You didn't go to the Silver Peak, right? No, but um, yeah, I've known you for a long time. So maybe a too long. yeah, maybe a little too long. Cause, so thanks for putting up with all my uh, craziness over the years. So, huh? Shenanigans. Shenanigans. So yeah, we're gonna see. What are you gonna see? Uh, American Hustle. No, it's pronounced yeah. American Hustle. American Hustle. American Hustle. I'm looking forward to seeing uh, Jennifer Lawrence. Because, you know, we all love her. She's good. And Bradley Cooper. Oh, true. And a. Christian Bale. Yeah. And then uh, Amy Adams, of course. So, I'm excited. I forgot she's in that. Sorry? I forgot she's in that. Amy Adams? Yeah. Cool. All right. Whoa. Something bird pooing on us. All right. Let's see how the line is inside. All right. Freeze yourself. Yo, we're skipping the box office line by using this technology. Do you have a car? Oh, true. Hold this. <laughs> You're the you're the videographer right now. You're vlogging my life. Okay. All the cash money. Da, 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 da. My toes are freezing right now. Seeing card. Okay. Do you swipe it? <laughs> Where do you swipe it? Oh, oh two. here. Okay. Mm -mm -mm. New Froyo at the movie theater. Mm. Yeah. Nice variety of flavors. Which one are you looking for? I don't know. Oh, you don't know? All right, let's look at them. Non-fat mango, original tart, tart rhymes with fart, so no thank you. I have my eyes on chocolate. Yeah. Or maybe vanilla, or maybe mix, a bit of each. Oh yeah. There we go. Mmm. Okay. That looks promising. Yeah. And all these toppings, dang. Talk about confectionaries. All right, Skittles, oh. I don't know if Skittles would be a good idea to put on frozen yogurt though. You got vanilla and chocolate, so you can pretty much get whatever mm. yogurt is. This looks so good. Coconut, chocolate chips, butterscotch chips. Don't mind if I do. Oh yeah, look at this delicious, okay. It looks like mine is pretty much chocolate themed. Yours looks really good. I've mine looks like And what's diarrhea. yours? What you got in yours? <laughs> <laughs> yours looks like diarrhea. Look at mine. Like you mine's like black. Chocolate and heaven. The, on, the only healthy thing I have in this is bananas. And everything else is chocolate. And the fruit didn't look very good, thing. so I didn't put it in. That looks pretty good. So you haven't tried it yet? No. Take a bite on camera. Be the first. Oh. I'm sorry. You have to see this world. What is it? Mm. But yeah. You no, know, sometimes it's too like icy. It's not creamy enough. Well, we'll see about that. So sweet. Oh you my digging god. Digging it? Sorry? Are you digging it? I'm digging it. It's a bit sweet though. I'm not gonna lie. So we're in the movie theater. Uh, American Hustle is also out. So now we're at Jack Ryan. Shadow created that name of it. Yeah, it was our froyo. Hopefully, it doesn't melt. But it's we took. Melted. All right. Well, lost cause. Might as well just toss it now. But it's pretty fast here. We hope so, you enjoy okay. the Cineplex right. pre-show. Get ready. No. And break number four. No, so close. Daniel, why don't you know everything about the Oscars? So when most people go to Tim Hortons, they enjoy their their stay with a nice muffin or a donut or a cruller or something like that. But my friend Lisa, no, she she that's too mainstream for her. She goes for the lowest of the low. She bought herself a single. Timbit. A single, uh, what's it called again? A Timbit. Yeah. A donut hole. I know this is a Timbit. But it's what flavor is that? 
strawberry. One single strawberry. It, how much is it, like 70 cents? Yeah, can yeah you can see, see a little can nipple. See <laughs> <laughs> the nipple where it uh, got injected with the cream filling. Oh, but now it's all squished. Oh, you squished the nipple. Ew, it's all it. ugly now. You want me to get you a fork and knife so you can enjoy oh, each yeah, maybe. bite? Yeah? <laughs> yeah, and I got a muffin. My caloric intake is through the roof tonight. Today, oh, well, I know. I didn't really have a full meal today. All I have is like for breakfast, I had yogurt with oats and strawberries and peanut butter in it. That's Those, pretty good. That it, looked really good. I Snapchatted. It is good. I Snapchatted um, yogurt and peanut butter to a friend or to a bunch of friends. I, mean, I think I did do too. And then they all respond saying it's like disgusting. No. But have you amazing. had yogurt and peanut butter? No, but it looks good. It is. And on top of that, or in addition, yogurt, um, peanut butter, and Nutella. The I have yogurt with Nutella usually. No plain, Nutella? Plain, unsweetened, just plain, completely plain yogurt mm. with a scoop of Nutella and a scoop of honey. Uh -huh. I can imagine. You, you, yogurt is one of those things where you can just probably mix it with anything and it does well. It's kind of like uh, Nutella. You can put Nutella with anything too. Yeah. You can put Nutella with pretty much anything except for my personal preference is like tomato based. You mix Nutella and tomato? Like Nutella and pasta? No. It's not very good. Nutella. Yeah. Pasta pizza? is like a meal. Like I'm talking about Nutella with snacking items. Like you don't take pasta and put Nutella on it. Maybe you prepare it into like some sort of Nutella sauce. But that that would be weird. Because the less sugar Nutella so it'll probably burn. I don't know. I'm just I'm saying I'm like if you had lot. pasta and you wanted to add Nutella to it. Like just a, it. like just a spoonful of Nutella. Yeah, no, you like can't. not prepared. If you had pizza, like a pepperoni pizza and you put Nutella on it. I'm trying to it's imagine how that would taste. Debatable, but yeah, the thing is, you're you're taking a meal, an already prepared meal, and adding Nutella. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about Nutella can go with anything that's just readily available. Red peppers. Nutella red pepper. Red peppers and scoop it. Never tried that. I don't really like red pepper. Oh, uh, pickles. I don't like pickles either. Sorry. I guess our vegetable. Uh, Vegetable preferences don't match. Pineapple? We're incompatible. All fruit. Yeah, technically. It's like because it's like fondue. Exactly. It's just not runny and Everything. warm. But alright, enjoy your uh, Tim. It looks like you already had a bite. Yeah. Uh, I want like I want to go get more, but sorry. I want to go get more, but I've literally okay. This is what I ate today. I had cheesecake. I had chips with salsa. Mm -hmm. I had frozen yogurt, and then oh, for breakfast today I had leftover pizza. Sounds like my lunch, so, to be honest. Getting pretty healthy. I can, I can tell you tried mixing in your like full serving of fruit in there and vegetables. The and pizza had arugula on it with what's it called again? Prosciutto and truffle oil. Oh, it was so good. As long as you get those servings, those recommended doses. It was like a little, it was like salady. It was good. Yeah. What kind of cheese? Oh, the coconut cheesecake. She made a vegan and gluten-free cheesecake. But cheese contradicts what vegan is all about. Vegan is dairy. So she didn't even use cheese, cream cheese in her cheesecake. She decides to use the inside of a coconut. Well. So instead of calling it a cheesecake, I would call it a coconut cake. But it's not, it doesn't taste like coconut. But you don't just call something by what it tastes, you call something by what it's made out of. Because if my mom made like a really terrible food and it tastes like diarrhea, I wouldn't call it a diarrhea dinner, I'd call it what it's made out of, but say it tastes like diarrhea. Exactly. So it's a cheesecake that tastes like coconut. <laughs> but it's, it's coconut that tastes like cheesecake. The recipe Anyways, case of Jordan. Recipes on YouTube. So. The, the, the Judge Judy has made her verdict. And Judge... What? Oh. What? Oh, the hair on my shoulder. Awkward, I don't want to know how I got there. Anyways, gonna enjoy my muffin. You enjoy your Timbit. And uh, see you later, Lisa. Bye.